Hi friends, today I'm reviewing the lovely original Arthur Rackham Oracle. And this was from the Duck Soup um, website. My father figure surprised me with this. I didn't know this was coming. I'm like, oh my gosh, what is this? I never heard of this before. They have a lot of great, um, awesome, great and awesome Oracle decks over there. I saw one Raggedy Ann. And I'm like, wow, that's so creative. I see, I see a lot of stuff over there. So it comes in this nice uh, box here. I love, it's like a nice keepsake box. And it feels like, I don't know, velvety paper. It's very smooth. And it has a little booklet in there. So this is a second edition, reversed and refined. Second edition, 80 Oracle cards and 12 page booklet. The booklet tells you about the gentleman here, Rackham. He's, he's written a lot of stories, uh, there was one, it was called the Midsummer Dreams. Oh man, what's it called? Fairy Tales, Shakespeare's, uh, Midsummer Night's Dream, Pan in Kensington Garden, Peter Pan in Kensington Gardens, he wrote. Peter Jint, he wrote. Um, there was another one that I recognize. Oh yeah, Grimm's, fa Grimm's, yeah, Grimm's Fairy Tales. Uh, lots of tales in there. So this is from, oh, this is so, so beautiful. So. You see a red, red, little red riding hood in there. You see, um, what's the other one? The Snow White. You see Snow White in this deck. And there's some spreads back here. So just think an author, author, illustrator, and all of his work in an Oracle deck. 80 cards. Look how beautiful this looks. This is just so gorgeous. I am like, oh my goodness. When I saw it, I'm like, what in the world? This is like fancy schmancy all beautiful like my even my husband fell in love with it he's like man this is so cool seeing you know art, art from from books inside of an oracle snow white and then we have a little word here and a little sentence underneath and if you compare them to the the rat the writer weights it's a little bit what little bit wider i would say it's the same length a little wider just just for reference not, 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 I'm not sure if that makes a difference to you, but <laughs> I know people like to see it, but it comes with this beautiful gold edging. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Look at the backing, the backing. Oh, it looks like someone taking a nice hike. That's just so precious. Very shimmery, shimmery, shimmery. Some of the words I will admit I've never heard before, like fungundinty, creative power. I have some fungundinty for sure. <laughs> Beginning. This is so cool. Beginning at the end. I love that. Persecution. So we have one word and then a little sentence underneath. And some of the things, you know, some of the words are like way over my head. I'm like, what? Okay, now I learned this. I learned something new. So this is like also a good vocab, like a good dictionary for yourself to <laughs> help expand your vocabulary. Exigency, unpleasant but necessary. Gossip, words to the unwise. Fortification, arrayed in confidence. Anxiety, inertia, born of doubts. Compassion, a light in the dark. That's a Snow White. That's a Snow White. That's not the Snow White I grew up with, but wow, this is like the real deal. Look at that. Arthur Rackham. He, he, that, that, oh, this is his work. Decline. Intuition. I love this one. It's a mermaid. Deception. You know, I love reading books to my daughter, especially the classics. So this is a, a rare gem. I love seeing stuff like this in books. Ariman, the darkest self ascendant. Ending. Our journeys over and done. Regrets, winter of the soul, 
It kind of reminds me of like Lemony Snicket. Lemony, what's his name? Lemony Snicket series of unfortunate events. Delusion, false attraction. Creative power. Also, we have two creative powers. Okay, did you notice that? Two creative power cards. Just, uh, here we go. Fagundity, creative power, and creative power, sowing the stars. Sowing, sowing, sowing. Undercurrent, unseen forces at work. First light. Oh my gosh, these pictures, I mean, these drawings are just gorgeous. Stability, sure foolishness. Look at that cat. Oh. Sangfoid, confronting the bad creatures. Provocation, challenge accepted. Oh, look at those cute animals. Look at those cute, the fox, the turtle, but the hair looks a little scary. scary. <laughs> the hair is a scare. I'm sorry, not a hair, the turtle. The hair, but the turtle is a scare. Look at that face. But they're so cute. Guardianship. Subversion. Curiosity. Look at that. Little Red Riding Hood. We grew up with that, right? I grew up with that. I don't know about you. So I'll just take you into this art and just let you enjoy the music. Temptation, this reminds me of the Hansel and Gretel. Man, I'm just, I'm in peace right now. I'm like, ah, I'm just enjoying the, this art. It's so delightful, I don't know, something about it just brings me back to like, you know, when I used to read books growing up and reading stuff, books to my daughter. Oh, look at that one. Oh, look how cute, the little troll. Guidance, the hidden path. It's like, do you, can, he wants to cross the bridge or, you know, that kind of, remember that? You have to pay the toll to the troll or whatever. You pay the toll with the troll. I don't know. Wow, this is beautiful. Rapport, trusted confidant. 
renewal, the mercurial soul, providence, and the 80th card, ascension, nurtured and nurturing, which is like the empress kind of, right? Oh, she even has a baby on her back. Oh, this is so beautiful. All right, let me shuffle and pull a card for you. So they, they shuffle pretty nicely. They're very nice and smooth. A little on the shiny side, but not, not hard to shuffle. All right. Intemperance. Lack. It says Lorac. Lorac of self-control. Oh boy, that's the opposite of temperance, isn't it? Intemperance. A lack of self-control and gossip. Words to the unwise. So I would say, are we, is it hard to resist talking, you know, or, you, or spreading rumors or spreading gossip, or is it hard to resist taking part in the, the conversation of other people, you know, um, other people's, uh, I guess, you know, rumors, or if someone is talking about somebody else and it's not really the case, or they just want to vent, um, don't take part in it. And try to resist it, try to resist it. Have that self-control, right? Because it just dims your light and it just goes to show what kind of person that other person is or what kind of person they are. You don't want to be associated with someone who talks trash or just very negative, you know? Rise above that. So that's what I have for you. Thank you for being here. Let me know if you liked this spread. I will have the link to the Duck Soup Productions website where you can find this. You have other rare gems over there as well. And you have a beautiful day. Let me know if you like this kind of stuff. I have deck modifications and deck reviews all organized in my playlists. We are also on Patreon if you would like to support this channel. Keep this energetic tarot fun train going. Your support will mean so much. Check out the perks over on Patreon so you get something in return to say thank you for your channel support. I have voting polls. I have monthly mingles. I also do one card draws. If you'd like to join us, we would love, 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 love to welcome you to our little tribe over there. Thank you for being here, and the link will be down below. I'll see you next time.